Welcome back, coaches, to 10 Questions with, powered by Honda. Uh, our special guest today, he's a special assistant to the organization, um, but he spent 50-plus years in professional baseball. Um, he has two sons who have both had glorious careers in the big leagues. One's a Hall of Famer. Um, he does a lot of our camps throughout the summer and very involved in Tournament 12. We're very happy to have uh, Santos Alomar. Santos, thanks for being here. Hey, nice to be here at uh... TJ, and it's nice to be able to help the young kids. Awesome. Well, we're going to get right into it. Our first question comes from nine-year-old Ashlyn. I know power comes from the legs for hitting. I was wondering if you had some good drills to hit the ball harder and farther. Well, the only thing that I have to say to her is this. At your age, you will not have power. At your age, you're going to be getting older, and as you get older, then you're going to be gaining power. But my concern with you right now is that you're, going, you're not going to be focused on, on what you need to focus. What you need to focus is to get a good, comfortable stance at the plate. Get comfortable, get your hands properly set on the bat, place the bat properly on the stance that you're going to get, then when you swing, you should be relaxed and you should rotate the back leg. The back foot is the one that is going to create the strength into your hip and into your hands. And that's how you're going to get power. So just be concerned on, on learn how to use your hands properly, see the balls properly, and let everything else work. Awesome, Santos. Next question comes from Ben. I coach an 11U team, and many of my infielders are scared of the baseball. Do you have any tips to eliminate the fear of the baseball in the infield? The first thing that I got to tell him is just to get balls uh, at a short, short distance, roll the ball to them at a short distance. Let them see the ball properly. Let them come into the ball. And then as they learn that, then you go a little bit farther out. But the key is to teach the kid how to prepare themselves, how to put their, their, their hands, their legs properly, body-wise, how they should bend forward, be relaxed, charge the ball properly. But the key is just to read the ball off the bat. One time you do that, you're going you're gonna to learn on how to approach the ball. Awesome. Next question comes from Sherry. Who is the hardest working player you ever saw and what characteristics made him that way? Well, and if I have to tell you, I mean, I got my kids and my kids, they, they, they work very hard. I used to have Robbie and I used to work all the time. Robbie was working all the time when he signed pro ball at the age of 17. I used to put about 200 balls in the, uh, in the batting machine and he would swing and bond daily. And then he will get a coach and he will take ground ball. And then I will take him into the side and I will work on the double play. But then he used to do that along with other people too. So the key is your goal. If you have a goal, you know that the sacrifices that you make today are the benefits that you will have later on. So work hard, work with ethics. Have respect on what you do it and everything will work. Next question comes from Claude. During practice, my players seem to zone out during base running drills. They don't seem to have the same focus when it, when it comes to base running that they do with hitting. Do you have any tips to get people more engaged in base running? Well, one of the things that I have to say is this. Teach your kid the valuable of each thing that they do. Nobody can win a game by itself. It takes a, a baseball team to do it. But only be, if you don't hit, you can help win a baseball game by running the bases properly. You can help the team by fielding properly, by throwing to the, to the right base, pitching properly, hitting properly. So it, it's, it's, a, it's a key that it go point to point, just teaching the importance of each of one of those things. You can win a game or you can help win a game sitting on the bench by observing the opposing team and letting your teammates 
what they normally do so they can be aware. And, and that's one of the points that I have to say. Each thing that they do is very important. Awesome. Next question comes from Edward. Do you see value in youth players focusing on one position? Or do you like them to move around the diamond, both infield and outfield, for example? I, I, I don't mind them moving around as long as they love it. I, you want a guy that do something that they feel comfortable doing and that they will do it with all the enthusiasm, that they will do it with all the love into it. But it's good for them just to learn other, other positions because that, that helps him on the valuable and that helps the ball club on their needs. So it's, it's always good if they can do it. Awesome. Next question comes from Scott. Who was your favorite baseball coach growing up and what, what made him so great? Well, I, I had a... It all depends what age, because when I was growing up, when I was a kid, my brothers, they used to play baseball. So I used to follow them and I used to observe them and I would get from them tips and things like that. When I got into pro ball, there was a few guys that I actually loved to work with them. One was Rocky Bridges that put his time with me. The other guy was... Um, uh, Grover Ressinger put his, his, his time on me and managers that I love to work with were uh, Billy Martin I, I mean uh, Billy Martin to me was outstanding manager and there was a lot of other great great managers but you know you always like somebody because of the way that they treat you or the way that they do things that's great. Next question comes from Ryan. Uh, you've been involved with T12 since the start. What do you love about the Canadian baseball player? Well, one of the things that I learned about the Canadian player was discipline. They were always attentive and, and they were always willing to become better. And, and one of the things, I mean, I like that. I like that. I like the player that will pay attention, that will try to get better and that will focus on the things that they were trying to uh, learn. So Canadian baseball players, they have a lot of improvement and you see it now, they have a lot of them playing. Awesome, next question comes from Stefano. I've heard a lot about the pyramid of success that you talk about from your camps a few years ago. Can you explain that? Well, uh, I always talk about the, uh, I always say nine, but actually, actually, ten things that I always talk about. Uh, it's it's going to be with pride. It's going to follow with will. That will follow with respect. Respect will follow with discipline. Discipline will will follow with knowledge. Knowledge will follow with the understanding. Understanding follow with preparation. Preparation follow with anticipation. The anticipation will give you a reaction and that's how you get wisdom. You know, if you, if you get it from the bottom up, I have wisdom because I reacted to the anticipation, to the preparation that I, that I had from the anticipation, you know, from the knowledge, from the discipline, to the respect, to the will that I have to become the, the best and for the pride that I have on me. That's awesome. Last question, Santos, is gonna come from me, so from TJ. Um, obviously, we've, we, we've grown a friendship over the years doing the camps together, and I always look at you and I always wonder, you know, for somebody who's been in baseball for not only professional baseball for almost 60 years but you know you grew up in baseball your brothers all played baseball your sons played baseball you've coached you've played in the major leagues and you know what what you wake up every day like what what do you love so much 
much about the game of baseball that keeps you coming back and has just made it such a huge part of your life and your family's life? Well, I'll tell you that, TJ. In our family, mothers and fathers, we, we were about 21 in the game, professional. You know what I mean? But you just go back to love. Baseball has given us everything. We love what, what we do. And what we're doing now is trying to give the younger player our knowledge, our experience, so they can become better and don't have to go through to a lot of the things that we went through. But they got to understand that they got to love and respect what they do. And when you work, you should work with discipline and with the ethics that everything that you do, you do it to learn something every day. Don't, don't work just to be seen. Work to know and learn because that's going to give you your future. That's awesome. Thank you, Santos. Thanks so much, man. We really loved having you. Um, we, we, again, hope the family's doing well down in Puerto Rico, and we hope to see you up here in Toronto soon. <laughs>